Introduction Land transport is a crucial service for the community because it enables citizens, particularly those who lack access to transportation, to move people, things, and information around. Road-based and track transportation are two of the many different types of land public transport services offered to the community. Taxi, stop-and-go buses, shuttle buses, express buses, and minibuses are examples of land public transportation that is based on roads. In some parts of Malaysia, minibus service continue to dominate the land public transportation market up until they were dubbed people transport. Kuala Lumpur minibus services were quite well liked. This unofficial public transit system is still widely used today in Sabah, particularly in Kota Kinabalu. In addition, operating in the city center, minibuses also offer services in all of the cities in the state. One of them is Sabah's dispersed population patterns and its steep landscape. In addition to its low cost and excellent mobility, minibuses are preferred for both long and short distance road trips. Discussion one of the primary means of public transportation for getting people from Kota Kinabalu to the district area exclusively is the minibus, consider Keningau, Ranau, and Kota Belut as examples. Minibuses are compact, passengers carrying vehicles, the maximum capacity is 11 passengers, the majority of whom are independent business owners. Additionally, the freight carry on this minibus weighs 3,100 kg, the majority of the minibus interior is created with the goal of maximizing passenger safety and comfort. It has a forward-facing seating configuration. In order to increase safety, seat belts are frequently and barriers are installed on each window and behind the minibus driver's seat. Minibuses also come with safety equipment to safeguard passengers and adhere to regulations. Airbags for the driver and front passenger may be among them. They have air conditioning and follow a set road that runs from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hence, the price that they charge per person is only 20 ringgit. Next is the justification of the concept. Minibuses connect Kotakinabu's urban center with the nearby districts by offering an accessible method of transportation. Due to their small size, Minibuses can fit through tight spaces and access places that bigger buses might find challenging. Because of this, it is now easier for residents of the district areas to get to and from Kota Kinabalu. Additionally, the use of minibuses with an 11 passenger limit satisfies the demand for carrying smaller groups of individuals and the service is more cost-effective because the available transportation resources are used effectively. Hence, a freight capacity with a 3,100 kg weight restriction has been incorporated into the minibus designed to accommodate the need to transport small amounts of freight or things alongside passengers. By giving passengers a secure and stable seating posture, the forward-facing seating arrangement lowers the danger of injuries during unexpected stop or collisions. The use of seatbelts further improve security by guaranteeing that occupants are safeguarded in the case of an accident or sudden movements. By preventing ejection or injury from outside objects, the barriers that were added on each window and behind the driver's seat give an additional level of safety. Then, in hot and humid climates like Kota Kinabalu, Minibuses with air conditioning provide better passenger comfort. Also, passengers may arrange their travel with greater reliability and ease because of the adherence to a predetermined route and operation hours. Lastly, minibuses are scheduled to run from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m which coincides with the times when demand for transport services is at its highest. Lastly is the issue and challenges. Due to the fact that not everyone chooses to use public transportation, 
bus drivers or operators have to deal with a decrease in passengers. As a result of the increasing number of vehicles on the road today and the need to exercise caution when providing this service, they are also faced with the possibility of traffic accidents. As a result of the high likelihood of accidents, high highly roads like the one in Kimanis, which is extremely high and steep, also present a problem. The customer's view of this minibus service is also very favorable because of its affordable rates, safe, comfortable rides, and reasonable price. However, Mrs. Betty Chan and Mr. Brian felt that the service was merely inadequate because they had to wait until the bus was full to capacity before it moved and the air conditioner was also not kept up well. Overall, this service can meet the needs of the customers. Opinion. I will be talking about opinions. For opinions, to ensure the continuous success and enhancements of minibus service, issues like decreasing passengers' numbers, traffic incidents, and specific consumer problems must be addressed. Next, we will highlight and elaborate why the number of passengers is decreasing. Private transport provide a great degree of comfort and flexibility. They offer door-to-door -door service, but many buses offer park and ride services. People with specialized travel requirement, erratic schedule, or many stop along the way will find this flexibility very intriguing. User of public transport must rely on reliability. Due to the nature of this service, there may be delays. Service outage and schedule irregularities because the driver has to wait until the bus is full before they go to the destination. People who frequently encounter delay or unreliable services may choose private transportation since it gives them greater control over their travel schedules and lets them avoid depending on outside variables. In addition, public transport vehicles can get back, especially during peak hours. Then, limited personal space and sometimes unpleasant surroundings can deter some people from using public transportation, especially if they prioritize comfort during their trip. Moreover, limited coverage may necessitate many transfers or awkward roads in order to reach some location. Lastly, potential passenger may not be aware of the minibus service existence or the advantages it provides if the availability and advantages are not actively promote to the community. These elements influence people's decisions to use private vehicles rather than mini buses. Suggestion. Next, we move to suggestion. It is advised that in order to ensure the safe functioning of the minibus fleet, it is crucial to perform frequent checks of crucial parts such brakes, tires, lights, signals, and safety equipment. This includes examining the tires for adequate track depth, inflation, pressure, and signs of damage or wear, confirming the correct operation of all lights, including the headlights, tail lights, indicators, and brake lights, testing signals like the horn, windscreen wipers, and emergency flashers 
to ensure they are in working order and examining safety equipment such as fire extinguishers. These inspections allow for the quick identification and immediate remediation of any possible safety issues, improving overall bus service safety. Hence, establish a regular maintenance schedule for the bus's air conditioning systems as well. This includes performing routine cleaning and servicing, looking for leaks, monitoring refrigerant levels, looking for obstructions in the ducts, and checking for leaks. By keeping the air conditioning systems in good operating order, potential problems may be quickly found and fixed, ensuring that passengers always have a comfortable environment. Also, to increase the number of passengers, minibuses can draw in more customers by giving a personalized and practical service, as well as by allowing passengers to specify specific drop-off locations and charging an additional cost. This strategy can raise accessibility, increase passenger happiness, and potentially increase operator revenue. Furthermore, start marketing initiatives to educate people about the advantages of taking public transit. By using a variety of advertising mediums, including social media, radio, billboards, and radio, bus services can be highlighted for their price, environmental friendliness, and convenience. Point out the benefits of using public transport, such as diminished carbon footprint and road congestion. Work together with local organizations and authorities to enhance and integrate the people transit system. Encourage more individuals to use public transit by providing incentives. To make public transport more approachable and appealing, think about providing discounted rates for specific populations like students or seniors. Last but not least, offer cooperative projects or programs that give bus users extra advantages, including price breaks or special deals at partner establishments. In addition, join forces with educational institutions to inform students about the advantages of public transport and to promote its use. Conclusion In a nutshell, taking public transport like minibuses has a positive impact on the environment by lowering carbon footprints, reducing air pollution, and raising community air quality. Additionally, it offers cost benefits of owning and using a private automobile because people can avoid paying for gas, parking, and vehicle upkeep. Also, more people using public transportation leads to less traffic congestion, which improves traffic flow, cuts down on commute times, and increases the effectiveness of transportation network. We can create a sustainable and inclusive transportation system that serves every person of our community by encouraging and using public transportation. We can make the most of public transportation benefits and make sure it satisfies the wide range of community demands by working together and with a common vision. That's all from us. Thank you. Interview Session Ada lagi penambah, penambahan, apalagi cabaran-cabaran yang akan hadap. Cabaran maksudnya pribadi ke apa? <laughs> Dalam uh, sepanjang buat ini perikmatan uh, lah. Jom saingan apa? Oh, saingan. Iya. Ya, dulu dulu pas di sini tidak banyak saingan. Sekarang banyak saingan. Abis ada grip. Ada, semua. Iya ada grip. Ada pas bertambah makin bertambah. Pas pengangkutan awam lah. Jadi itulah cabaran-cabaran kami untuk menghadapi masalah sekarang lah tahun 2023. Boleh encerit berapa dari 1 sampai 10? Okay, saya akan bagi 8 bintang. Kenapa saya tidak bagi full? Karena kadang-kadang ekon dalam bus itu tidak diselenggara dengan baik. Dan juga kami juga perlu menunggu sehingga bas itu penuh baru boleh bas itu bergerak. 
Oke, okay. itu saja. Thank you. Sama-sama.